The big thing that we did to be a little more eco-friendly, if you will, is we're putting in synthetic turf. Excitement is brewing at Hughes Memorial Stadium. Dr. Edward Scott, the athletic director at Morgan State University, walks me through plans for a multi-million dollar facelift, giving the football field one of the foremost brands in artificial turf and a new high-performance all-weather track. We're trying to keep in line with the rest of the university, uh, what Dr. Wilson has built. And so we want to make sure that athletics serves as the front porch, and I think our facilities will allow us to do that. These renderings show what it will look like when it's done. The Bears logo prominently displayed in the center with orange and blue, the school colors outlining the track. Scott says the upgrades are aesthetically pleasing and safer because of the amount of head blows that the student athletes take both hitting heads together and then in addition to hitting their head on the turf, we wanted to make sure that we had a good surface, something that would have some give for them. The upgrades come at a time when the football program is charged for success. After a four and seven record last year, Scott says a revitalized look is key for recruitment, energizes players, and the new field will join new football coach Tyrone Wheatley, who has played in the NFL and coached at the college level. This could help get some wins this year. Yeah, it better help get some wins, but no, I think it will. I think we're really excited about where we are as a department, with our coaches, with our staff. The infrastructure is really in place. These upgrades cost $2.5 million. It's being paid for by deferred maintenance money, and it's on track to be complete by August when the Morgan State football players return. The first game on the new turf is set for September 28th against North Carolina Central. In Baltimore, Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News.